want to start off with this iFlights 5 inch ultralight frame. I'll give you guys a close up. This is the top plate with an X. <coughs> There's also a top plate with a Y. It's 55 grams and in my opinion it looks pretty sturdy. As you can see it has a lot of screws so that it's super strong. Um, I actually really want to, as you guys probably saw in my last video, I already broke my iFlight uh, Vertigo uh, after the first crash so I like to um, try this one out next and I'll just uh, settle, put all my setup on this frame instead and see how that works out. Quite frankly, I really hope this one is good because it's so light and it would be great if it actually holds out. Then, next. So this is called the iFlight Beetle uh, in the V3 form. And the most exciting thing about this frame is that it's obviously pink. So it works like this, you put your camera here and then on the inside everything can be uh, will be protected when you put this on. The only thing that I'm about a, a little bit worried about is that it will be difficult to put an HD camera on it because as you can see this isn't that smooth and it will be difficult to fasten it. So I'll have to think about how I will be putting it on or, or if any of you have some ideas of, or how do you guys mount it on such a frame i love to know because i don't know what to do with it yet um this is the bottom plate and honestly i have never felt such a strong and sturdy frame before i mean i can't it doesn't give at all and i'm not that strong my boyfriend tried it too he can't bend it either so this to me looks like a pretty strong frame um also oh what i forgot to say about both of these the edges are very very smooth as well on this one as on this frame it doesn't hurt at all which i love because you know when sometimes you get a new frame and it just doesn't feel that great the first few times that you hold it because it's still very sharp um iFlight also sent me the, how do you call it, 3D printed parts so that they're protected. As you can see, you can just put them on here. Oh, this one was 107 grams, by the way. While this one is 55, huge difference, but this one is very 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 sturdy and i hope that this one will be very strong as well it feels all right for now but who knows how many crashes it will take but of course if you're a racer this might be very good for you because you want that light weight and this is ultra light i also got in the dalprop t6040c's let me open them up Why do I always have problem opening up stupid things? Okay, so they look like this and they're huge. But then again, a six inch frame is also very big. I mean, look, this is my hand and it's pretty big. So these look pretty damn cool. And I also got the T3056 C's in which I tested out on my last video and I also told you guys what I think about them. We flew these with the seven inch frame and gotta say they're great. But this one needs a little bit work, the T3056 C's. But I'm sure I've, uh, Fox here will soon make that better and also, I got the Predator Mini, which I can't wait 
to put on one of my frames. I'm not sure what, where I'm gonna put it yet. Probably on the ultra, ultra light, maybe? I don't know. But there are a lot of awesome reviews about the Predator. <laughs> there are a lot of awesome reviews out there um, for, for the Predator Mini and the Predator Micro, I think. There are two sorts, the Predator Mini yeah. and Mi Micro, I think. Um, but I got the Mini from Fox Sears, so thank you. Like I just said, there are a lot of reviews already on the Predator out there. And honestly, I'm really impressed uh, with the results I've seen. And I can't wait to actually try this out, which will be hopefully very soon. Yeah, so that's basically all I wanted to talk about. Um, I will be building this one very soon. Unless you guys think I should be building this one, but I'm pretty set on building this one. So thank you all for watching. I really appreciate you clicking on my video.